Hello everyone, we will continue the topic smart forms and in the previous video we recognized that why our smart form is not giving the output because for the item cost reference field is missing. A system is unable to recognize the reference field and we understand why why we got this error because in the because for the header data reference field we are passing from the same structure itself for the item cost we are passing the reference field from already existing structure so now how we can resolve this particular issue and in case of amount and quantity, always, always you will get this kind of error. Whenever you are passing the amount and quantity from the program to the smart form and the reference field is not from the same structure, then in that case, you will always, always get this error. Now, how we can resolve this error? We have two solutions for the same. Firstly, I will show you first solution. Then I will show you second solution. In our scenario, first solution will not work. But still, I will show you because in many cases, first solution will suffice the purpose itself. Suppose simple example. This is our item data here we are passing the reference from the already existing structure if we will take the reference field in the same structure itself then this problem will never never come suppose simple example i will go to components i will take a reference field in the same structure itself and what is the data element for the currency this is the data element for the currency i will go to currency slash quantity fields now rather than passing the reference from another structure i will pass the reference from this particular structure itself because I took the reference column in the same structure itself. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate. So my structure has four columns. Now if I will come on to this internal table. Now this internal table has four columns and we took the reference field in the same structure, we are passing the reference through the same structure itself. Now, if I will go to our driver program, this is our driver program. If you see, LT data one is going to LT item. Now, in LT item, we have four columns now. Previously, it has three columns. Now we added one extra column into the item. It means same to same extra column must be added to this internal table. Yes, it should be added. If I will go to LT data one, LT data one is referring to this structure. So I will add the fourth column here also. So I will write C U R R type data element of the currency. So now our internal table has four columns. This LT data one has also also four column. Now we are fetching that data of how many column? Three column. It means we need to add the third, the fourth column here also. But now it is a problem. Just see, in your item table, there is no currency field. 
So how how you can fetch the currency column if the currency column is in the table? No problem. It will simply simply solve our issue. Then in that case, what we will do? We will simply pass the currency here. No problem. We are passing the reference field from the same structure, and our issue will get resolved. So this is one solution. If you think yes, your reference field is in the table, you can take and yes, just fetch from the table and pass. So this is one way to solve the problem. But in our current scenario, it will not work because our item table do not have a currency column at all. So this solution will not work for us. So what is the first solution which you can try? First solution is take the reference field in the same structure. So what we did, we took the reference field in the same structure. Here also we pass the extra column currency, but our item table do not have a currency column. So we will not go by this way. If currency column is in the item table, then no problem. Our issue will simply, simply resolve. Now, in that case, what we will do, we will go for second alternative. And every interviewer surely asks this question, in which scenario you make use of the currency slash quantity tab of the smartphone. So what I will do as of now, I will revert this whatever I get. And many times we have the reference field in that table you can fetch and it will simply, simply solve your problem. That is the easiest way. So I cannot go by this way because our currency column is in the header table. It is not in the item table. So I will activate the program. Similarly, I will comment from the this particular structure also. I will delete this extra column because there is no benefit. If the currency column in the table item table, then my issue will simply, simply resolve. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now we will see how we can resolve this particular issue. I will run in the debugging mode and I will open the smartphone in a parallel session and I will show you how, how we can resolve this particular issue. So we will simply put the breakpoint. I will run the program. I will go for order number one. Now I will execute the first query. I will execute the second query. This is our header. This is our item. Now I will do F8 because in the smart form, I already have a breakpoint. So I will just go to the smart form. So this is our header and this is our item. LT underscore item. Now, how, how I can resolve the error for the item cost, item cost. I will go to the smartphone. Now. This is our smartphone. Now I will go to the change mode of the smartphone. I will go to global definitions. Now I will resolve this error by making use of currency slash quantity fields tab in the smart form itself. I will make use of this tab. Now, just tell me, just see 
for which particular field you are getting the error. What is your field item cost? LS data one. What is your field item cost? Now it is of which type? Yes, C U R R. You all know currency and quantity. And what is the reference field? Which field you want to refer? Just see in your which particular work area. Just see this is your total amount and this is your currency. Currency. The same currency you want to refer to the item cost also. Item cost also. Just understand what we did. Yes. If you see your structures also, just see in case of item, you are passing the reference from the header itself, header itself. Now, how we will resolve this error? We are getting the error. I will open. I just close the session. I will go to smart forms. I will go to currency slash quantity fields. I will write it again. So this is our field. For this field, we are getting the error. For this field, for this particular column, we need to define the reference field in the smart form itself. So how we will define in which particular work area you have the currency value of the currency C-U-R-R. To see here itself in the debugging mode, in the debugging mode, from the header, you are passing the data to this work area. If you see LS data, if you see LS data, in LS data, which particular column has the value, which particular column, C-U-R-R. So what we have simply did, this particular item cost is referring to this particular field. So we simply, simply resolve the error by writing in the smart form itself. Just see, or we will go for again understanding. We are getting the error for the item cost. Whenever you are passing the item cost from the program to the smart form, because the reference field is not in the same structure, so we got the error. In that case, what is the solution? You can take the reference field in the same structure. So we tried that. But our item table do not have currency column. So that solution will not work for us. In that case, we need to resolve this error by making use of currency slash quantity fields tab. Your item cost flowed in the smart form. Your item cost flowed in the smart form. And we are saying for the item cost, what is the reference field? Whatever the value is coming into first work area currency column, what is the value in the first work area currency column? INR. It means our item cost also got a reference field. Extremely, extremely important point. If I will check the syntax and I will activate this particular smart form. So what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely important from the interview perspective. First thing. Whenever you are unable to recognize the error, run the smart form independently. You will recognize why the error is triggering. So we got the error for the item cost. We understood why the error is triggering for item cost because the reference field which we have taken is not from the same structure. That's why we got the error. So what we did, there are two solutions for the same. What is first solution? 
टेक द रेफरेंस फील्ड इन द सेम स्ट्रक्चर पास द रेफरेंस फील्ड फ्रॉम द सेम स्ट्रक्चर and it will resolve the problem but in our case it will not work because our item table do not have a currency column so we did another way whenever values will flow to the smart form we are resolving the error through the smart form itself in the smart form we have a currency slash quantity tab so what we are seeing the item cost which is flowing to the smart form what is the reference field for the same is first work area currency column itself and in every interview whenever someone is asking just tell us in which scenario you make use of the currency slash quantity tab of the smart form so your simple one liner answer whenever you are passing the currency slash quantity values from the driver program to the smart form but your reference field is not in the same structure suppose in our case our reference field for the item cost is not in the same structure then in that case you will pass the reference field by making use of the currency slash quantity tab of the smart form extremely important concept from the interview perspective in the next video we will simply run the smart form in the debugging mode and we will see are we getting a expected output or not so that's it in this video thank you